Hello and welcome to another Baggy Brothers video. We're very fortunate again because today we are joined by ex-West Brom player and Danish international Martin Albrechtsen. How are you, Martin? I'm good, thanks. Good. Thank you very much for having uh, for obviously being here with us. Uh, brief uh, intro to obviously your time with us. You joined us from Copenhagen for two and a half mil, which was a club record fee at the time is pretty impressive uh and you made over 100 appearances for us you helped us avoid relegation in the great escape season and you also won the championship with us in the 2007 2008 season obviously it would be a bit rude not to ask but how's everything been obviously considering all the the world stuff that's been happening how have you and the family been well it's been uh, at the moment it's a it's a bit bit boring <laughs> uh we can't go out i mean we can go out at the streets but um but all the all the shops and restaurants are closed, so um, we just like, yeah, like the rest of the world, just uh, trying to, to hang in there home. and yeah, yeah. Get through it. Yes, that's we just hope hope it will get summer soon and and we can go out a bit. So um, and all the vaccines are are gonna work. So so yeah, yeah but it, it's it's a hard time. It is. Yeah, I think it's obviously everyone's sort of struggling, aren't they, at the moment? But yeah, that's good. That good things are going okay, though. Glad to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's get into your time at the Hawthorns. Um, how do you remember it? Was it good memories or? Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> I mean, it's it's, uh, it's 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 the it's the highlight of, of my career. I mean, the, the four years at at West Brom was um, was probably yeah some of the best years of, of my football football years. So um, so yeah, it was a good good time there, and I a bit regret that I that I didn't continue there after the four years. So. Um, but uh, we can talk about that later, maybe. Sure. What, were, what were some of your fondest memories of the time of your time there? Mm, I mean, the 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 friendships uh, I got there, the, um, the 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 squad we had uh, was some good some good lads in between. Um, of course, of course, it was hard the, the first year with all the the pressure and the and the relegation ghost being uh, like on top of our heads. Mm -hmm. And uh, but. Um, but it was just like nice, nice, nice to live in Birmingham. Nice to 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 play football and and yeah, it was good experience. I think you're the first person I've ever heard say the sentence. It was nice to live in Birmingham. <laughs> live in Birmingham. There yeah. you go. <laughs> someone, I'm glad someone enjoys it. So that was nice. It could uh, it could it could be worse. I think. Uh, I mean, there's some other bad places yes. in, in England. <laughs> there are some. There are worse places. Yeah. Who were, who were some of the toughest? players that you had to come up against with while you were obviously playing for us i know there were loads of obviously some pretty impressive strikers in the premier league uh, yeah I've, I've, I've always said i mean we, we i played against the uh drug bar ronaldo rooney uh but the, one of the the toughest ones is, was like when we played chelsea away like uh, damon duff like a left oh, winger right. uh, and i was a right back <laughs> yeah that, that was uh, that was a quite of a of a handful um I think we lost like a couple of times four nil over there, but um, but um, yeah, I mean, of course, every striker was was a was a tough opponent, mm. um, but especially in, in the championship, that that was I think that was even 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 harder because it was they were so big and strong, and you really had to be on top of your game to 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 handle them. Um, so yeah. Yeah, championships are deceivingly difficult league. Yeah. I think for people looking at it, I know a lot of a lot of my mates who watch it. They'll always talk about how uh, the championships fairly boring and the Premier League's where it's at. But I kind of, uh, especially you know, over the last sort of twenty years, I feel like they're both pretty challenging, and you can come up yeah. against some pretty hard players in both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, in in the um, in the Premier Premier League. Um, <clears throat> I feel like the the tempo was a bit slower, um, uh, but of course the 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 um, the opponent they they like they punish you if you, if you made a mistake they you were like one nil down. Mm. Uh, comparing to the championship, uh, you, you can make a, a few mistakes and it was still zero zero. But but the the, the tempo was was just so much higher and um, and um, yeah, that's that was that was the difference between the the two leagues. Definitely. Cool. Uh, so uh, we've, as we are doing with everybody that we're speaking to at the moment, we're asking you to pick the best eleven, especially of your time while you were at the Hawthorns. How difficult was it to pick this team? 
Well, I mean, as I said before, it was it was it was okay to to pick the first um, six, five, six, seven. Uh, but then I had to like Google the, the squads for for each year I was there, and um, yeah, I, I, it was funny to 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 like mem memorize or remember the the names again. So um, I I picked a few um, because I, I was googling them. So yeah, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. You know, Don't say yeah. which ones they are though, because it might get a bit funny. If they see yeah. the video, <laughs> you had to Google me. Yeah, I had to Google How did you forget me? We were best mates. <laughs> yeah. We sat next to each other on the bus. What's wrong with you? Yeah. What's the uh, what um, formation have you picked with the team? Um, a four four two. Four four two. Nice and simple, straightforward. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice to hear. It's gone. And who's in goal for your team? Who? Who's in goal for your team? Um, I chose uh, Cusack. Thomas Cusack. Brilliant keeper. Good choice. Very good choice. I second, I, I, second person. I, I, I can't actually remember how how many games he he got when I was there. If he was like a, a regular starter or if he was just like a substitute. But uh, but I, I just I just remember the the save he had uh, in the game I scored. So that's that's <laughs> just, just because of that. Then he was on the on, on the two highs. You yeah. score, he saves. Yeah, so you're a perfect combination. <laughs> yeah, I, I was right back up an awkward one to pick. I mean, have you gone for yourself? I couldn't Which actually is absolutely remember fine anyone else besides me playing that that position. Uh, maybe Hopkins was the was the other one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but other than that, I will say I, I played there for like two and a half years. Out of you can pick yourself. Years. Yeah. So I, I, I had I had to pick myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm liking yeah. this. We've we've already spoken to uh, one ex player and done this with him, and he put himself in the team as well. And okay. I don't blame yeah. you. No, it's all best also, eleven. Who else played there? Um, Steve Watson, I think, played right back a few times. Um, yeah. yeah. But uh, I'll say I was better than Go on then. So who have you gone for on the left at left back then? Left back, it must be uh, Paul Robinson. Oh, brilliant. We spoke to him the other week. He's such a good guy. So yeah. good. Yeah, he's, he's brilliant. So good on the field as well, wasn't he? Such a good defender. He's just yeah. known for his hard tackling, wasn't he? Yeah, sometimes he went over the top, but uh, I mean, <laughs> he, he he went in hundred percent every time, and um, yeah, it was good to have him on as a team. On the team comes comes with the territory of being a defender, I guess. You're just gonna yeah, yeah. You go for a tackle. You're tackle, either you're yeah. either blitzing them or you're gonna get blocked yeah. or something like that. But there we go. Yeah. Uh, Center backs. Who's the pair? I, I choose uh, Neil Clement. Okay, nice choice. Uh, yeah, and uh, Curtis Davies. Curtis Davies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really good choice. Uh, I also had Thomas Thomas Garso in, in my thoughts, but uh, but uh, I chose the other two, but only because he was Dane. <laughs> <laughs> you could have put him in. There's no look. You're gonna have Danish people. You've got yeah, to put yeah. the Danish people. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I, no I, I chose the other two. I, I'll just remember them as a as a, um as like as like as you has to be be as a defender, like hard hard working, um, never lost a tackle, uh, like good. Good um, talking wise and 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 how how you place a place place yourself uh, uh, on the pitch. Um, yeah, they, they, they're very good at that. So um, yeah. Oh, excellent. Um, right wing. Robert Curran. Robert, Robert Curran. Curran. Yeah. Yeah. Great shout. Good call. Um, I can't remember if he played like right wing, but uh, now he does. Yeah. <laughs> now he right does. Yeah. Right on the right wing. Yeah. Right yeah. midfielder. Cool. No, that's a good choice. Who, who did you go for on the left? Oh, yeah. Maybe maybe Salt and Gira should be on the right one. Oh, yeah, you should. Okay. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. And yeah, then, another uh, good choice, though. And then what Robert a player he was. On the, on the left one. Some, yeah, good pair of wingers. Yeah. Yeah. Whichever maybe, side they're on, really, they're going to be a pain yeah. in the ass for someone, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. And then the, the two in the middle, uh, Chris Brunt. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Jono. Jonathan Green. Yeah. Jonathan Green. Yeah. 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 Of course. Right there. The two, two, two of the most common players, I think, as far yeah. as Albion fans go, that we we all kind yeah, of yeah. You you know, re respect. You remember them, so um, may, maybe not the fastest midfield, uh, but uh, they were. <laughs> they were not, certainly quite, not like... now. If you got them playing now, they're probably going to be nah. a little slow. Technically, uh, technically though, they were right. brilliant, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Um, like Chris Brown, like good left foot, and Jono just like good te technician, like a uh, good technical and like. Brilliant passes. That's Go on, and who have you gone? Who have you gone for up top? Um, it was Nathan Ellington, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, Kevin Phillips and Nathan Ellington. Two great again. choices again. Again, it's a 
It's a dangerous yeah. looking team. That is a dangerous team, isn't it? I'm liking the sound yeah. of it. It's goals, yeah. it's creative players. Who who would be like out of that group of players, who would be some of like your closest friends from the club? I'm guessing you were close with most of the players anyway, but who were some of the, the best mates? Um, I mean, Jono, me and Jono, we lived at the same um, like area, uh, apartment area the first few months uh, in Southern Coalfield. So uh, I, I got pre- pretty close with him. Um, and I still talk to him like once in a while. Um, other than that, Robo, I uh, still talk to a few times, like oh, Instagram. Yeah. Could, Curtis Davis, yeah, but but you know when 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 you when you change club, it's like it's it's quite weird because you you you're good friends for like two or four years, and then suddenly from one from one from one day to another, then you're like you're not talking to the guy yeah. anymore. No. Just but, but that's how all of a sudden, yeah, yeah that, that that's how football is. So you have to be really um, really good at like um, keeping keep keep in touch. Uh, otherwise, it will just like uh, just away. like fall. yeah. So. Um, so I, I I still talk to to a few and and I try to come over like a few times but uh, we never like ne- we never like done it so um yeah let's see if if we're gonna if we're gonna meet them again some of them yeah it'd be nice have a reunion we, yeah we talked about doing like a reunion once uh, once o- all this um, corona thing is over it'd be good get this get this squad back together yeah. it could be fun sort of... yeah get on that masters five a side team. Have, be good. The, have you seen the Masters five aside teams that all the old no, players go and play? No, I haven't seen them. That'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> you and Robert at the back. <laughs> Nightmares. Nightmares yeah. for the strikers. Yeah. I'm going to give you one slightly tougher question to think about this now. So you've obviously had three managers while you were with us. You had Gary Megson, Brian Robson and Tony Mowbray. I believe yeah. that's the three main managers you had. Maybe a couple of caretakers as well. But yeah. if you had to pick one of those managers... To manage this squad, who would you pick? That's difficult. Um, I mean, I like I like uh, uh, Robinson, uh, but oh, sorry, uh, uh, Robson, sorry. Um, but like he, he was good at like uh, like taking care of the people, like uh, um, managing the like we had uh, what's 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 called in English um, morale and things like that. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, uh, where Mowbray was more like the tactical. He he, he was better than that, um, but I think I had to choose. I had to choose uh, Brian Robson. Mm, solid, solid choice. Solid choice. This is a uh, this is a good team. I'm liking what I yeah. see. If you've enjoyed watching that, please click the subscribe and like button down below. We've got all our socials on the page. Where's the best place for people to find you? Uh, probably on Instagram. On, on Instagram, yeah, just my name, straight out. That's nice. It's nice and simple, isn't it? Just <laughs> straightforward name. And we want yeah. to give a little special shout out as well to CJP Edits, who has done a wicked edit for the uh, the Instagram post of this. Uh, and other than that, huge thank you again for joining us, Martin. Really appreciate you giving us some of your time and uh, hope that you and your family stay safe through all of this and we'll hopefully see you at some point in the future. Nice one. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome.